So it's a really fun time again. It's Ignite time. And as you remember, those are five minute presentations with auto advancing slides every 15 seconds. Tom Laro is going to be kicking us off with his presentation, The Importance of Now. And really what that's about is getting fast feedback and continuous integration and delivery pipelines. Please welcome Tom. All right, real quickly, show of hands, who here has learned something awesome these past two days? All right, now keep your hands up if you remember exactly what you were doing this time last week. <laughs> so we can remember this conference right now because we are here in the moment, in the present. It is fresh in our minds. And for your developers, it is the same thing when they are heads down hacking away at their code. Their minds are fully engaged in the process. They've got all the methods open. They're, they're, they're doing everything they need uh, to, to write that code. So if your build pipeline takes a long time or the code you write doesn't get tested for a few weeks, they're not going to be in that same mindset if they have to go back and fix something. Um, think of your CI, CD pipeline like a game. Um, not only does it have to have tests and challenges and to, to prove that you have quality code, but you also have to give feedback fast so that the player, the developer, knows if they need to retry something and go back again. I could go on and on about why it's important to get, go fast, but the question is how? How do you get there? How do you speed up your pipelines? If you're using a CI system like Jenkins, take advantage of the uh, pipeline syntax and especially the keyword parallel. Uh, this allows you to run multiple uh, components at the same time and can dramatically speed up the process of things. So for instance, you can do your code linting while you're running your um, static code analysis or passing it off to uh, um, SonarCube, for instance, or while spinning up your environments. Basically anything that doesn't need the immediate preceding action is a candidate for parallelization. Jenkins even has the concept of the fail fast keyword. Uh, which will terminate all the other parallel steps and immediately report if anyone has an issue. This decreases your time to notification. Building inside of a container can not only give you a lot more reliable builds, but can again, can speed up uh, the process. Say for instance, you're building a JavaScript application and you have to do an NPM install. And we all know how long an NPM install can take. So if you set up a nightly job that does an NPM install and puts the, the contents of the node modules directory inside of a container, you can then simply spin up that container, run your build inside of it, and immediately have access to all the dependencies you need. Uh, you don't need to run NPM install on every single build, and you dramatically speed up your process. So web testing is great, um, but something like, uh, like Selenium can be, can be sort of slow. Uh, we have kind of switched over to Zelenium. Uh, it is an open source tool which will dynamically scale Selenium grids to meet demand. Uh, for us, it spins them up in our Kubernetes cluster and we can dramatically uh, uh, scale to meet our need. Uh, combining that with rewriting our tests so that instead of having one long-running suite of tests, we have kind of massively parallelized those into smaller little feature sets. Uh, we can speed up our throughput and avoid a situation where one long-running test holds up the grid for everybody else. Another big important thing you need to know uh, is the SLA of your tools. Uh, we have one um, code scanning tool uh, that has a 24-hour um, SLA for running a scan on, on our tests. I can build the code, deploy it to our lowest environment, throw it through thousands of, of tests all in under 20 minutes. Where do I put a 24 hour wait in that process? Your developer's time is valuable, invest in tools that understand this. And of course, all the speed of the world is great, um, but if you don't have visibility into the process, uh, you're gonna have issues. So, your, your developers shouldn't need to be watching your CI system. They should be able to focus on other tasks and be notified immediately if there's an issue. 
Basically, you should never have this. Um, you should be able to notify your developers instantly of an issue, unless, of course, you find out that your developers have been deleting those notifications. And then you have to resort to other things, uh, such as status boards, Slack notification, or the ever-famous uh, managerial email. There are lots of ways you can speed up your pipelines. The question always is to ask yourself, is how can I make this go faster? And um, because the faster you can make your, um, you can make your pipelines, the more productive you can make your developers. Thank you.